what time is it and what time is it? Let me tell you now, it is the DW World Equity Times. From now onwards, every Monday, 9 a.m., 10 minutes is all you need to spend with us. And on every Monday morning, we're going to pick a powerful stock and it may come from Singapore markets, Malaysia markets, Hong Kong markets, China markets, US or UK markets. And we call this the OTOP 1910. One target, one purpose, Monday, 9 a.m. and 10 minutes. Be forewarned, we are not recommending any stocks, but it could be a very powerful stocks or very potential commodity counter for that particular week. So stay tuned and what you're going to do next is every Monday, 9 a.m., just log on and watch us. Stay tuned and be our fan. I'll be right back. How many weeks do you know are there in a year? And the answer is 52 weeks. All right. Yes, you got it, 52. And this is the OTOP episode 52 for the week, 2nd of August, year 2021. And that means we are coming to exactly one year of producing this OTOP episodes, which is releasing on every Monday morning, 9 a.m. Singapore time. All right, as usual, and once again, today, for the week 2nd August year 2021, we're going to share with you and release one interesting market information that you may have um, interest to take a look and do some homework before you want to get into it. All right, stay tuned with us, subscribe to us, and of course, at the end of the video, don't forget to share out with all your loved ones. All right, as usual, for this uh, OTOP 52, before we start off, um, we'll do a small revision on last Friday. Okay, what? the u.s market was doing all right on friday on friday which is the uh, 30th of july okay as of the u.s market closed dow jones was down 149 points okay and smp and nasdaq were also down but looking at the news here well we see that the uh, pandemic crisis over the world has uh, developed into a delta variant and looks like for the next one or two months all right, there might be an economic standstill over the world and things might be getting worse. All right, but then again, when we look at the Dow Jones here, all right, it is uh, rather topish, but the market has not shown any downside yet. And uh, looking um, into August, all right, this month, we are still anticipating President Biden for rolling out a new infrastructure stimulus. And most likely, we are going to see dollar weakening and Dow Jones will continue to move higher all right so that's point number one for this OPA 52 OTOP 52 and the second thing is uh, we want to do a quick revision at what we uh, talked about last week and that was the Singapore stock Wilma all right the fact is that uh, palm oil prices has been very strong and going up for last two weeks so uh, Wilma is a least coal base in Indonesia that is uh, running plantation and producing uh, basically on palm oil commodities selling into China markets, all right. But uh, if you look at last week, all right, the Wilma um, counter prices actually have not gone up a lot. But on the other hand, although the market prices were trading slightly on a weakening side, but it did not come down a lot over the last five days. All right, from Monday to Friday, market was trading at about four dollar fifty cents down to closing of four thirty five. It's only a fifteen cents um, downfall. Uh, in fact, uh, we are still optimistic that as long as the market does not break down, all right, below four twenty, which is here, I think there should be a rebound coming anytime soon for Wilma International Listed in Singapore. So this week, what are we going to talk about will be coming up right in front of you. All right. First of all, let's take a look at the dollar index, which is here. All right. The US dollar index, if you look at it, all right. Mm, um, basically, last week, all right, the uh, GDP growth for Q2 in the US economy was at 6.5%, all right, for Q2 seasons um, ended June, all right, and that was actually below expectation. So the market traders and investors 
are actually expecting a lot of more support and stimulus to be rolled out very soon by the Federal Reserve policymakers in order to support the the um, uh, US stock market. So in other words, people are looking at the tapering plan of the policymakers to be delayed. Hence, dollar index actually started to trade weaker on last week. All right. So this is the day chart of dollar index. As you can see, um, the dollar index um, has been very topish at 93 and it actually fell to 92 and closed at 92.18 on Friday. All right. Looking at this chart itself, I would think that the dollar index is still rather trading sideways, all right, especially around the exponential moving average 200 days, or we call it EMA 200, all right. But uh, rather, I would think the dollar index is uh, on the softening side, although um, it has not really started the downfall yet. So if dollar is to be trading on the weakening side, what are we looking exactly on the opposite? All right, and the answer is euro currency. All right, dollar index um, has got a very strong uh, inverse correlation to euro currencies. All right, so when dollar index is trading on the softening side, we should be looking at euro currency on the buy side, which is on the inverse correlations. All right, let's take a look this week. OTOP 52 for the week. 2nd August year 2021, what are we going to talk about? Okay, take a look at this ETF counter that is trading in NYSE and this is it. All right, the symbol is ULE. All right, it stands for ProShares Ultra Euro. This is a two times ETF. All right, uh, that is uh, having an underlying benchmark in euros. All right, what? Exactly what we are trying to tell you is when euro currency is bullish and moving up, all right, this ETF ULE will be moving up with the potential of two times, all right, two times ETF. This is a leveraging ETF, but beware, do not try to go long or buy the bottom whenever euro is falling. All right, based on this day chart itself, all right, um, well, if we look at this, the momentum is rather neutral at the uh, uh, zero benchmark okay and the EMA 4 and 20 has just crossed up doing a sideways and the current prices that closed on Friday okay Friday that is the 30th of July the price was $14.65 okay this is trading in US dollars although the underlying benchmark is in euros all right if you look at this I would think that the momentum crossing up has got good potential okay of uh, going long this week for the week 2nd August year 2021 especially if you look at the bottom side here at $14.40 there has been a very good support okay one time two time three time four times since last year September all right so if you happen to go into long in today's uh, ULE ETF your stop loss should be at $14.40 okay from the day chart let's change the time scale to four hour chart and this is what exactly it looks like all right well if you look at this um, on the four hour chart in fact the market has turned up um, on last thursday or friday okay around here and the momentum has actually changed to be positive and pretty bullish so the four hour chart and the day chart are all confluent all right so what we're going to do is this week if you would like to take well an opportunity in euro currencies i think this etf on a two-time leverage is something that you may want to take a second look all right so the ideal purchasing price it could be anywhere like a $14.55 to $14.60 okay if it ever comes down on the early part of, of Monday session all right so this week OTO 52 is all about ULE a two-time leveraging ETF okay and that's for you stay tuned with us and Keep your watch and observation on this ULE while we are prepared for the OTOP 53 coming back to you on next week. Alright, this is the DW World Equity Time. We would like you to stay with us on every Monday morning 9am Singapore time. And stay tuned, we shall come back.